Hey up blokes and blokettes, and welcome to another Street Fighter 4 Online video. This one's a bit different in that it took quite a long time, but I have a compilation of ent entirely of wins, which took uh, over two days of playing. Well, to be fair, I only played for like an hour or so each time. That's as much as I could stomach before getting completely demoralized and just wanting to cry and eat chocolate. Because, you know, Street Fighter does that. Especially since, uh, my controller likes to... It, what, it, what it likes to do is mistake the Ultra input for the Shoryuken input, and it likes to mistake the Shoryuken input for the Ultra input. So, that's always fun. And by fun, I mean... Just... No. <laughs> just... No. So, yeah. The D-pad accepts the Ultra input, but being an Xbox 360 D-pad, you know, also likes to mistake everything else. Like, I remember one time trying to crouch block, and she jumped. I pressed down, and she jumped. Just, you know, so, yeah. Anyway, you've probably noticed. New outfit, because I bought the Femme Fatale outfit pack. Which was like five euro, but I refunded a game on Steam at one point, and I had some Steam money in my wallet. So really, I had to add to that, and I only had to add like fifty cent. So that's why I was willing to buy that. I was confused as to why it was five euro, and every other costume pack was four, but it turns out this one had three costumes for the four characters that were in it. So that's cool. I don't know if you're gonna see all three outfits though. Because this is like Kami's winter outfit. Kind of missing out on a pretty important part of her anatomy. You know, those lovely, wonderful thighs. And that. <laughs> Fucking Kami. I love those characters. Seriously, just what the fuck. Anyway, I was very happy with this match. Very happy with this one because I hate Balrog. I hate fighting Balrog. So to actually win against Balrog. Just, no. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. So good. I almost did the uh, noise because I'm so used to making it, but yeah. Ooh. So that was nice. And near the, the last match is... Okay, so like I said, this was taken over the course of two different days. The last match you're going to see was actually from the first day, but I was just so, so proud of it that I had to put it last because that just seemed like the right thing to do. Also, I've stopped searching for matches and instead I create and let people look for me. Which has... oh, air throw. I've started doing the air throw a lot more. I don't know how much of it you're gonna see in this video. There was one match where I did like three air throws in a row. I was like, seriously, dude, stop jumping. What the fuck? You just like... you jumped, I threw you. You jumped, I threw you. You jumped, I threw you. Stop doing it. Anyway. Oh, look at that. The ultra actually came through for once and got blocked. But, you know, fuck it, sweep. <laughs> when all else fails, you know, sweep. It's like Mortal Kombat. It's like, fuck it, down circle! Or if someone's jumping down triangle, just do it! Don't think! Just do the uppercut. 14% damage on an uppercut! Because that's not fucking ridiculous. I mean, Mortal Kombat, not this game. I have no idea what the damage numbers are in this game. But yeah, I uh, let people look for me, and this has helped immensely, because I actually find myself fighting against fellow D-rankers. Instead of when I go looking for a match, and I'm fighting like the 10th best Chun-Li in the fucking world on PC, and I'm like, what? Uh, uh, you want me? You know what, like, the 5,000th shittest cami in the world? <laughs> like, what are you doing to me? But, you know... I, although I think at that point I was like the 8,000th shittest cami in the world when I fought that John Lee, so I was like, Jesus Christ. Still though, we're coming along, I mean, uh, at this current point... this current point, I'm the 3,500th shittest cami in the world. So... that's something. <laughs> But yeah, another thing that's helped with creating matches is, so I come up against people who are actually the same skill as myself, and not fucking gods, and more often than not, I'm found by either people from Ireland, which is good, or the UK, which is also good. Though I did have one match against someone from the UK with a terrible connection, which is really bizarre. It's like, mate, what are you doing? We're practically neighbours on the global scale. But, you know... I should really talk about the matches. <laughs> oh, well, fighting amateurs like you is a waste of time. Jesus, Cammy, calm down. Oh, yes. Hugo. I fucking hate Hugo. 
I hate Hugo, Abel, uh, Haka oh fucking Hakan. Just oh Jesus! If Hakan shows up in Street Fighter Five, I'm not. I'm not. Fuck that. Jesus. Who are the other ones? What did I say? Hugo, Abel, Hakan. Command grab characters. Zangief. Command. Oh, I hate command grabs. They're such bullshit. You know, it's bad enough when I d dive kick into someone, they block it, and then they throw. That's bad enough. But to have someone command grab, which is just a throw with an even longer range and does like three times the damage. Not that one, but a lot of them do. Just, it just feels so delightfully, deliciously cheap. Just not fair at all. Also, this person, my memories are a bit skewed because this is a few days ago. But uh, this guy, I think I had like four matches with him. He played a different character each time. So, you know, as opposed to me, I just played the same fucking, fucking character chip damage for the win. But, um... He played like four different characters. I think he was French. And oh, I hate when people have their microphones on. Like, stop doing it. It just has this echo. Like, why? But anyway, I had four different characters. And I beat two of them. Can't remember which ones they were. I might have included both victories on this, but I don't. I don't remember. Plus, I haven't actually been paying attention to the video, which I really should. Fucking command rooms. I think he wins this round. Which is to be expected, yeah, I think I baited that. that. That was like one of the rare moments of tactics. It's wonderful. But when, what's becoming clear to me is I need to get better at hit confirming into my spiral arrow because it's uh, it's just like a muscle memory thing now. I just dive in and I just do it. I do my light, medium, light punch, medium punch, then spiral arrow. It's like, yo, lad, lad, at least wait until you've actually hit the first two attacks before you do it. You know, don't just do it because then they'll block and then they'll fucking command grab you. Or uppercut you or heaven forbid super you. No, ultra you. Oh Jesus. Because that's that's what you need in your life. But anyway, round three against King Hugo. Uh, actually, yeah, another thing that was really weird about this guy, I think all four of the characters he played had zero battle points. So I don't know what was going on with that. It is a clear indication though that you can't always trust the point system. After all, you could have someone who just spent hours on hours in the offline mode. And it's so, like, they are really, really, really good. But this is just their first time going online. Did you see the damage that did? A quarter of my health meter. Fuck. Command grabs. No. <laughs> Cheap. But anyway. Yeah, you can have people like that who do know the matchup. But since it's their first time playing online, they just don't have any points. Or it could be they played on a different platform. You know, like, you could have someone who's 10th best fucking Chun-Li on Xbox Live, and then they come over to PC and they've got no points, so it's like, oh, now, now to earn them all back. Ooh, an American. Fighting an American. So, yeah, let's... I was gonna say, let's see how this goes, but I mean, I already spoiled that all of these matches are wins. Also, another thing you'll note, the map. Because since I'm creating, I get to pick the map. And I always pick the T-Rex map. Because fucking look at it. It's a map with two fucking T-Rexes. No one picks it! Nobody picks this map! Why? It's got fucking T-Rexes! <laughs> Just... Ugh. They always pick, like... Oh, they always pick that fucking... What is it? East Asia map with the statues in the background and that awful music. That terrible music that just sounds like someone whining. And just... Oh, Jesus. But, like, you play the T-Rex map, you've got, you know, your lush, colorful jungle, you've got the fucking T-Rexes, and... That epic music. I mean, yes, the T-Rex map should be like the only map in the game. Fuck. Anyway, cigar. Let's focus. Let's focus on on watching this shit. It's, it's hard to commentate myself because I kind of just do the same shit over and over again. Oh yeah, one other thing. So I was pitching about my controller. Is sometimes I'll jump into the air and just do the. Uh, medium kick in the air, and it's like, no, I put in the dive kick function, you piece of wank. I, I, I've been tempted, I haven't done it, but I've been tempted to take my Xbox 360 controller out back, take one of my golf clubs, and just fucking, no. you can guess what comes next. Just, oh, that would give me no end of satisfaction, but I kind of need it. My Xbox One controller stopped working because Microsoft, a quality control and all that goodness. I have, a, I have a PlayStation 3 controller, I guess I should give, could give that a go. Maybe it'll work better. You know, the PlayStation 3 controller, for, despite some of the faults it has. I'm thinking about adopting a cat when I go home. I adopted a new cat recently. It was great, he's a white cat. With yellow eyes, he's like Geralt. 
We called it Max, though. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Uh, the PlayStation 3 controller, despite its faults, you know, those awful triggers. Oh, I actually, I have to interrupt myself again. I feel really bad about including this match, because this guy, this guy clearly very new to the game, because th this only lasts like a minute and a half. The reason I'm including it is because, because uh, I, I, I wasn't going to include it. I swear I wasn't. But um, I get an achievement at the end, and I, I just wanted, <laughs> I wanted that to show up there. So, yeah, you're going to see what the achievement is. But, um... Yeah, PlayStation Controller. Despite the shitty triggers, and the analog sticks, which are a bit loosey-goosey, and the convex, like I got used to the Xbox ones now, which are have these little concave bits that your thumbs sit into, which is actually quite nice. But despite that, the PlayStation 3 controller has the best D-pad of any controller ever. So, you know. PlayStation 4 one doesn't. I don't know how they did it. They fucked up the PlayStation's D-pad with the PS4 controller because I was in a... I was playing on my stepbrother's PlayStation 4, playing Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat X, obviously. And... Oh, there it is. My achievement. Win three ranked matches in a row. Fuck yeah! But, um... Yeah, there were, there were times I was trying to jump forward. I was just jumping straight up. I was like, what the fuck is this? PlayStation, how'd you ruin the D-pad? You had a perfect D-pad with the last controller. Anyway, this is another Makoto match. Yeah, because there was one at the start of this video, wasn't there? Look at this though, I'm only 3 Oh wait, no, here's the other outfit. I just noticed like the, her little bison outfit, which I quite enjoy because I like the hat. Because, you know, all for the hat. And shoulder pads too, of course. Shoulder pads are a sign of importance in the world. Especially if you play Warhammer, which I don't. But I did just see the uh, in-game, well, in-engine cinematic Total Warhammer trailer, and I, I may and or may not have ejaculated while watching it. I, you know, phew, I don't give a shit about Warhammer, but I do love Total War. Ooh, ooh. And to see a giant fucking orc riding a wyvern into battle. Oh god. But let's not talk about that, because we're trying to focus on Street Fighter, aren't we? But yeah, also she stopped making sexual noises while Cammy's on screen. <laughs> Just, oh, the brighter she turns around too. Oh god. Fucking Cammy. Uh, anyway. Street Fighter V though, um... Ken was announced a little bit back, and I watch Maximilian Dude, and he was talking about how Ken's face looks weird, which it does, and his hair looks like banana peels, which it does. But he mentioned that some people wanted them to change Ken's face, which I can accept, you know, I don't, I, don't, I don't play Ken, I don't care, but for the sake of the Ken players, I can understand that. He was also saying that some people think the new Cammy looks weird. Look at that, AAA, poor. But yes, yeah, so we were saying that Cammy in Street Fighter V looks weird, her face. I don't, I, I think it looks better than it does in this game, I don't know, maybe that's just me, Catwoman. But yeah, maybe that's just, I don't know. I think it looks pretty good. Like here, it looks kind of too anime-ish. Which makes sense. Oh yeah, this person. This is my second fight with this person. First time he picked Ryu, and he rage quit. He fucking rage quit. Couldn't believe it. You know, I was halfway through the second round. I got his health meter down to halfway, and just, just the player has disconnected. No, player has left. That I think that's what I said. And I didn't include it because, well, that's not very satisfying, is it? But you know, just I would say, <clears throat> shame, shame. Shame, insert dinging noise here. If you don't watch Game of Thrones, you have no idea why I just said that. So hopefully you watch Game of Thrones. If you don't watch Game of Thrones, fucking watch it! Because, you know, why wouldn't you? Fucking dad, he's a bastard, right? I bought him Game of Thrones Season 1 for Christmas. Has he watched it? Has he? Fuck. But yo, he has watched the entire first three seasons of The Walking Dead in the space of like a week. Bastard. But, you know. That's how it goes, he says he's gonna finally start watching them. Also, quite proud of that little combo I did back there, you know, I like hit confirmed into it. So that's good. I need to properly look up a good jump in, hit confirm, cami combo. I was probably trying to do the ultra there. Like, I can guarantee I was. If I EX dive in, and then either follow up with an EX spiral arrow or EX cannon spike, that's me trying to get into ultra. But my fucking controller doesn't recognize it because it's a piece of shit. But anyway, one thing I can say for this person is he's a much better jury player than a better for you. Because, you know, also, look, look at that pose, I mean, what the fuck? I mean, jury, okay, you're one, no need to be a cunt about it. <laughs> Jesus. 
Cammy's a little bit of a cunt too, though. I was like, I had high hopes for you. Mm. So, you know, I don't like the pose that she's in, but she does that. It looks really stiff. It's like she, she's standing straight up, she's slightly arching her back, and she's pointing down, and her face is tilted to the side. And she just, her head is tilted to the side, I should say. And it just looks like a really stiff, kind of shit animation. That was me trying to EX into Ultra, which didn't work because controller. Nice, nice quick knuckle there. I enjoy the quick knuckle move, but sometimes it just... I was also trying to ultra there. <laughs> but, yeah, it's just as well it didn't come out. But, uh, anyway. Quick knuckle, yeah. I can quick knuckle through Hadoukens pretty easily. The problem is, the quick knuckle input is like a half circle input. And so it takes too long to come out. And that's why one of the reasons why I'm looking forward to Street Fighter V, because you just instantly press the focus attack buttons, you know, triangle, circle, and it just, boom, instant comes out quickly. Of course, it does mean you can't control the length at which it comes out, but, you know, what ifs. Speaking of Quick Knuckle, I need to mention this before I forget, because I was so proud. Oh, sorry. I was so proud of this. I was fighting a Sakura, and in the... I think it was the second round. It doesn't matter. The point is, she threw out her ultra... ultra... Uh, ultra... Ultra? I almost said ultimate. I've been playing Smite again recently, so, you know, in moments. But, uh... Threw out her ultra, which was the Shinku Hadouken. I quick knuckled through her fucking ultra, and then ended her. I can't even remember what I ended her with. The, the, just the quick knuckling through the ultra was just too fucking awesome. But anyway, yes, this is the match I was proud of because for two reasons. Firstly, B rank Ryu. You know, I win against a B rank Ryu. Pretty fucking happy with that. And also, I get another achievement, which made me happy. Very happy to see. So, yeah, I'm getting pretty good at the air throws, I think, you know. Well, I say pretty good. Getting decent at the air throws. So, that's something I'll have to work on. Having said that, I don't know if they're going to change it, but they said Kami doesn't have her air throw in Street Fighter V, so that's a problem. Like, what's the point of getting good at air throws if she's not even going to have it in the next game? Like, shit. So hopefully she gets it back. He said it was, what's his name, Combo Fiend. Because there was a video with him in it. He, like, works on the game, I think. I don't know, I'm not in with the fighting game community, I have no idea. But, uh... Just he said specifically that she doesn't have it yet. I think is what, she's, what he said. So hopefully she gets it back. I don't know why they would take it out. What's, what's, wrong, with, what's wrong with the air throw? But, anyway. They also said grab... The range at which you can grab someone is going to be reduced. And that makes me very happy. And, oh, here it is! Here it is! Oh! Oh! <clears throat> I love when she says that to that finish! Oh, hype. Anyway, that concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching if you suck this far, and I'll see you in whatever the next thingamajig is that I do.